Today we're putting a Florida twist on a New Orleans style classic. Oh yes he did. It's the Florida Mafalada and Mr. Chef Justin right here, he's gonna take us there. So Chef Justin, we're taking an iconic New Orleans sandwich, the Mafalada, and we're turning it Florida. That's right Chad. We are gonna make this sandwich with Florida ingredients. You're gonna love it. So first I got my bowl here. We got a little green olives here, Spanish queens going in. Our Calmada olives. Get an eyeful of that. Mm. These are some nice chopped up pepperoncini peppers, really gonna give it a little bite and acidity. Some green onions or scallions going in. A Little bit of flat leaf parsley. A little crushed red pepper, cause I mm. like it spicy. Capers, these are also gonna give it a little acidic, little zinginess. And of course, some slivered garlic. Some like a little more, some like a little less. Wow. I like a lot. It's a lot of garlic. Of course, we got a little good there quality you, olive yeah, oil. Swing here. You give it a stir mm. and a little red wine vinegar. Mm. And now that this is all okay. done, it's time to really make this Florida style with our fresh vegetables. So, so I'm glad got, to hear you're not just going to squeeze an orange in there. No, I was no. How that was going to no, work. We can't do that. We got diced Florida cucumber. Mm. Small diced Florida carrot, Florida celery. Well, this is really gonna give it a crunch, isn't it? It is. And some Florida peppers that have been roasted and peeled. Oh, yeah. Let's get those in there. It's time to start assembling our sandwiches. Let's build. The foundation of the sa every yeah, good sandwich absolutely. starts with good bread. And I'm gonna bring over the platter of meats Ooh, and yeah. cheeses. Now, what we have here is we have salami, mortadella, Look at that. Look at that. Look hot at that. capicola, Ooh. Little provolone and mozzarella. Let's start with cheese first, a little on the bottom. Okay. Yeah. There you go, you got the mozzarella. Now we'll go with our relish. So I'm gonna help you out here, Chad. Nice. And get this one coated. Okay. Now that we've got one layer of relish on, now we can start working with our meat. Meats. So let's grab some meat and layer that on. I'm going with the hot capicola hot here. That. So we're doing so kind of a kind of a layer thing here, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, flavor comes in layers. Flavor comes in layers. Oftentimes, sandwich is getting some it's weight. It's got to some it, weight. About a two pounder already. Before we put our last layer of cheese on, we want to go ahead and put one more layer of relish on here. Another layer. Yes, sir. So last layer of cheese on top. Another layer. Oh man, I love it. Cheese on the top and bottom is going to help to seal it in. Now let's top it, Mr. Oven Boy. Oven Boy, I'm there off. There it goes. 375 degree oven, about five to seven minutes. We Coming just kind of want it heated through. Hot. We don't want to make it super hot. It's hot, chef. It's hot. Oven's hot. It's preheated, this guy. Coming in hot. Yes. Woo! Okay, look beautiful. That. Look at that go right there. I love it. Look at that thing, it looks like a, it's like a, it's like a vessel. Okay, now just for fun, I made a couple of little skewers. And this is gonna give a nice decor to your sandwich, make it look beautiful. Oh, that's cool. This is also gonna help Keep the sandwich together because it's going to want to fall apart. Wow. <laughs> Look at the layering on that. Pretty cool, right? Serve it with a little bit of our nicely dressed greens here. That's got to be one, two. That's got to be like a five inch bite there. I'm going to struggle with that, Chef. I don't know about you. Mm. For more recipes like this, go to howtodoflorida.com. Mm, 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 mm. This Florida cooking segment was brought to you by the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services.